right. And Get the camera on the iPad. Are live. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. Welcome, hey. welcome, welcome. As you hello. see right here, oh, we funny, have Mike. very, very special guests from <laughs> Dream Theater, Mike and James. How are you guys doing today? We are doing great, Nick. How are you? I'm I'm well. Just just keeping up with the madness of the music industry and all that. The usual. Yeah. <laughs> what everyone else is doing. Um, I don't know how you do it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's... Uh, how, how do you find the time and the day to listen to everything that you do? I just don't to sleep. To even stay on top of it. I just don't sleep instead. I have two days. I have the morning and then that's it. Yeah, we just go with that. Ah. That's why I look like this. So you figured <laughs> out that conundrum, how to stay awake. I try sometimes, yeah. yeah but there is yeah. a lot of music. Hey, are you, I, a question I want to ask you guys. Have you guys been... Are you guys keep up with a lot of music nowadays? Like, there's so much, especially in 2021. Are you kind of more like you found kind of what you like and you kind of just jam those and kind of go with it i I'm, i don't i don't barely listen to anything i'm too busy doing that <laughs> right <laughs> we're, yeah. we're, we're busy making music i don't know that's, yeah yeah that's that's what most most people are kind of doing nowadays when it comes to musicians and it's 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 awesome to see like there's there's a ridiculous amount of music like i can barely keep up and that's like my mm -hmm. basically only job is to keep up with music but nonetheless right. Today is a fun one because of the new Dream Theater album just dropped. Huge congratulations to you guys, by the way, for that. Thank you. Um, yep. Thank you. Thank you. We've checked out the two singles so far. At least I have checked them out. And again, love them. It is everything that I love from Dream Theater. The musicianship, the fun, technical ability, but also it's still sounding like a cohesive song. <laughs> Which, again, like I was mm -hmm. talking to Mike earlier, I don't know how you guys always pull that off, but it's it's magical and I'm sure it's not easy to do. <laughs> Anyway, oh. go ahead. Play some music. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, again, every, everyone, thank you so much for hanging. Hit the follow and join the Discord. And um, yeah, we have special guests. Let's do it up. We're going to be checking out the new Rogue track followed by Dream Theater, which I'm so excited to check out. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So smaller band, more kind of modern metal-esque. Let's do it up. Rogue. Oh, Fun little drum groove there. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Catchy chorus for the for the radio portion. We're going for it. And here we go. There we go. More of an ambient kind of chord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of modern metal nowadays. Very oh, low, yeah. low tune, aggressive, a lot of that kind of stuff. Damn. Welcome everybody in chat. Thank you again so much for hanging. We got a bunch of people in here. Wow, it's going. Yeah. Nice little soundscape. Yeah. 
Uh huh. It's building to something here. Good. Instrumental. Oh, yep. here we are. This would be considered the bridge. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Which in modern day metal, a lot of people just replace that word with breakdown and then another breakdown. Yeah, that's right. But yeah. That, absolutely. Yeah. There's still a lot of bands that are kind of like this style that do a lot of like solos and heavy, oh, yeah. more progressive stuff, which I love too. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a big uh, blend nowadays. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like a, a little reminiscent of earlier uh, Asking Alexander, but even though there was more singing in it. Oh, you know? okay, yeah. That, yeah, that, you know? Mm -hmm. I know like, exactly. Uh, Dan, Danny was more also a singer. Like he could scream mm -hmm. like, a, like a mofo. Yeah, but he could also like in the first two albums, especially he could really sing. Like he was freaking, he was going for it. Yeah, you know? I. I for... and, but they had this. They had that aggression, that breakdown, that screamo, mm. uh, guttural vocal going on. Mm. I mean, that's where because to be honest with you, Nick, and, right. and I'm pretty sure Mike, you you agree. I mean, I don't listen to that. I, right. I really don't. That's that's not my brew. That. That's not my preferred brew. Gotcha. You know, so uh, you know, but I can appreciate where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. I can, because I mean, it's it's a like I look at that guttural voice, and, and anybody that's listened to my solo albums, especially the last couple, um, I use that, but I use it more as a tool, very minimalistically, right, right, uh, placed. But it was more like a tool. It just kind of added another element to the mix mm -hmm. that brought you a little deeper into the context. Oh yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a very popular thing now to kind of do like, like the sing and screaming. It's like here's the chorus. Let's kind of make it just the singing part, whereas the rest of it's just very right. kind of screaming and all. That. That's yeah. a very kind yeah. of popular modern metal thing. So well, that's what yeah. that's what Dream Theater is doing with our next album. We're gonna Mike's gonna do all the screamo. Yeah, <laughs> and then. And then I'm only going to come in and do all the choruses. I love so, it. There we go. Yeah. You guys are going right, to Mike? download it. Yeah. James, James actually bought the pliers he's going to use on me. <laughs> to... So that was, that, was some, that was some heavy stuff. It wow. was. Yeah. Yes, it's pretty good. Definitely much more modern. But nonetheless, there, there, is, there is Rogue Jack. If you guys like it, show them the love.